Hey there, it's Martha, and if you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. This is my weekly What I've Been Warming video. It is, sometimes has empties, sometimes it's just, I mean, it always is what I've been warming, but sometimes they're half empties. Uh, but I like to share what I've been warming and talk to you about what I thought, where I warm them. And this week is a little different because usually I have some Scentsy in here and I do have one. Uh, but the reason I don't have others is I'm going to do a separate Scentsy video probably later in the week of just the Bring Back My Bars. So um, last Thursday, yeah, like last Thursday, I maybe it was Wednesday, it might have been Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> but I got um, all as a Scentsy consultant, I got the Bring Back My Bar Early Access, and I've been warming through all 25 cents. So I actually, if I had put them in this video, I'd have 22 cents to talk about. Um, and I'm, I'm keeping it as a separate video just for ease, people to refer back to, because uh, those bars go on uh, or will be available actually on January 1st. So the general public will be able to purchase them. They have a month to purchase them. And so I like to kind of keep those separate, uh, just making it easier for people to find things about a scent they might be interested in. Um, and if I don't do it all kind of like at once, then I won't finish because <laughs> that's just the way I am. So I, I would just put those three aside and like, oh, I'll melt it next week. And then no. So I just I'm just want to get through them all and then get back to kind of regular programming with my December basket. So anyway, let's see what's the one scentsy thing that I warmed um, and the rest of it is vendor wax. So come with me and let's see what I warmed. Okay. Do you know it's a it's a brick? <laughs> I warmed um, part of Winter's Eve, so I actually warmed this whole cube. I mean, kind of if I want to treat it treat it similarly to how I'm treating Bring Back My Bar, I would probably like five days in a row just warm this and be done. But that's not the way my brain works. Um, I yeah. So let's talk about the scent. Um, I really liked it on cold when I first smelled it. It's masculine. I like masculine scents. I like tree scents. It's like a masculine tree. <laughs> um, it's a cologne scent, but it's got, it's actually pretty. And when I smell it on cold, it's pretty. Um, this is one that's grown on me. And um, now I only have two left from last year. Uh, so I will get through this. To me, this is actually kind of more of a January scent. Um, even though it's got some tree notes, but um, it, the reason I didn't love it, love it uh, when I first started warming it is when it was warm or when it was warming, it had like a strong little sharp note on cold. I don't smell it. When I warmed it this past week, it was actually much better, but that's because I turned it on in the evening, late evening, and then left them on all night. So when I came back down the next morning, it was actually like, it's actually kind of nice. So this might be like a evening, late evening scent that I just leave going um, in order to finish that. Um, the other two bricks that I have are Maraschino Sugar Cookie and Caramel Chestnut, which are probably the two most popular ones of the bricks from last year. Um, so yeah, those are the two baker ones that I have left. Now you're probably, if you are a weekly watcher, you're probably thinking, um, don't you have icicles and evergreen? Cause you talked about how much it could stand that one. Well, guess what? My friend liked it. She liked it enough. So I said, here, <laughs> take it. Um, and so I'm, I'm down one less brick. So that is it. So sl slowly, but surely I'm working through my bricks. All right. So that was Scentsy. Let's move on to what else I was able to warm as I was trying to get through 25. Bring back my bar scents. So this is a little, a little light here. Um, but it is what it is. Um, so first off, let's start with the North from Teddy B's. I got this in the pre-order back in January, this 2023. Uh, so I got this back in, I think it was April and this was poured February 23rd. So this is vanilla balsam, Palo Santo, 
marshmallow fireside type, and a hint of smoldering firewood. I remember when I first got this because it was my, I think it was my first Teddy Bees, my first Teddy Bees order. I was so excited. I got to this one and I was like, whoa, that's really, really smoky. And what I love about Teddy Bees is her wax holds scent for a very, very long time and actually transforms over time. Um, when I first got this, I thought it was way too smoky. When I finally re-sniffed it recently to decide what I was going to want, potentially want to warm in December, I was like, oh, this is actually kind of nice now. It's not as smoky. And yeah, I put the, I warm this in this bedroom in Scentsy Warmers. The smokiness is it's smoky. I feel like it's a, it's a strong palo. You also have the fireside or like smoldering wood. So you have a lot of smoky scents. So I'm not sure if it's quite the palo or the smoldering woods, but it is a very smoky. I'd almost say kind of a manly smoky. Um, maybe because I think of Jon Snow in the North, <laughs> but um, that's maybe what's coming to my mind. But what I'm also getting that I didn't get when I first got this on cold was that vanilla. I got some balsam, but I didn't get the vanilla on warm in my bedroom. This was toasty. There was this smokiness, but the sweetness as well. Um, and it performed great in my warmers. This is one that I turned on kind of later in the evening. I sleep with my warmers on. Um, and even the next morning I can smell I can smell that sweet balsam and some of that smokiness and it was just really, really pretty. So I have, you know, probably another, maybe two warms if I were to do it in the bedroom or, or yeah. Um, so very happy with that. And uh, this is one that I would repurchase again. So that is the North from Teddy Bees. All right, another Teddy Bees because I have a lot of Teddy Bees and I need to warm it and I love it. So I look at uh, my friend Christine when she's sharing like what she's been warming and she's warming a lot of stuff like she just hauled. And I'm like, why do, why do I not do that? I like hold on to stuff and then like wait months. Uh, but anyway, um, that's awesome. So I was seeing some people like warming Teddy Bees. And I'm like, I really need to warm this. I purposely bought this back in the summer. I think this came in August because I wanted to give it time to cure so I could warm it in this Christmas se Christmas season. So this is old school Christmas. It's fresh pine, red apples, warm cinnamon, sugar crystals, and marshmallow cream. And that is old school Christmas. I love this when I smelled it on cold. I warm this downstairs actually today and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I do get the cinnamon. I got a lot of the, is it balsam? Is it, Cause it is, let's see, why do I take my glasses off? I don't know. I, I mean, her, her font is so small. I almost need magnifying glass. It's pine. <laughs> okay, it's pine. I'm like, is it balsam? Um, her pine, I get like the twigs as well. To me, this smells like a wreath or like you're, you're, you're smelling a tree, um, but you get some of the wood, some of the twigs, including the needles and the cinnamon. And so I was getting all of that on warm. I warm this in open space. I have a tea light warmer that I'm using and like all my warmers. I had pretty much all, but one, two, two not going. So I had hot plates. I had tea light warmers. I had scentsy warmers. I just wanted to smell Christmas downstairs and it was beautiful. Um, it, her, her wax is softer. So if you're going to fill up an open space like that, you, you do need all of those warmers and probably a tea light warmer, but it's beautiful. Um, I love it. It's to me cozy. And I love the tree scents, but it's creamy. I get the cinnamon, beautiful scent. Um, and I know that if I were to keep the rest of this till next year, it would probably perform even better. I feel that confident about her wax doing that. So, um, so I warmed, I warmed, I think what I wanted to, I have so much in my basket that, that I'll probably save the rest for next year. Okay. Let's sell. Here's one where it was a recent purchase and I did warm it um, because I've been trying to warm older scents first, but this is from Salt Mountain Melts. It's Candy Cane Forest. 
Um, this is a very recent haul. I think I got it in November. I think this was November. Let me see. She's got, okay, this is poured October 16th and it's vanilla balsam, crushed candy canes, and toasted marshmallow. This is really good. I warmed this in this bedroom as well. I don't think I warmed it downstairs, but I definitely warmed it in this bedroom. Fantastic. Performed beautifully in my Scentsy Warmers. I didn't really get a whole lot of vanilla balsam. I got a lot of the candy cane. So although this is forest, I got a lot of candy cane and marshmallow. And to me, not really not a lot of balsam. So if you're worried about that, this was just a sweet, yummy candy cane. Um, and I really like this. So because it's such a small bag, I, I will finish this at some point between now and, and February. I am going to film another video probably right after this, although I won't share it probably till the end of right before the end of the month. Um, just kind of talking about my, my dreams for 2024, like what I really want to do in 2024. So, um, since I'm in a chatty mood, I might as well just film that. Okay. This, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, I have actually quite a number of, uh, the pharmacist daughter, which was a goal of mine. So if you saw my December basket video, um, I bought a lot of pharmacist daughter last year at, in December and I had quite a bit still left over, so I wanted to warm through it. So I guess I have. <laughs> so this is Smells Like Snow. This is Sinus Blend Icy Peppermint and Swedish Dream Salt. Smells Like Snow. My friend gave me more of this, so I actually have more of this um, scent. This was a shape that I got in like an ornament. I think it was an ornament. I chopped it up the other night and uh, it's different. Like the Swedish Dream Salt, if you've never smelled it, how do, how do I explain it? It's, um, there is a salt saltiness to it. It's, um, almost like it'll wake you up. It's, it is very strong. And then you combine this again with, um, sinus blend. So I think that combination of the two, maybe I can't tell the difference between the two, but this one will, this will wake you up. I really like this. I had a little bit of getting a little bit stuffy and I'm like, you know what, this is different, kind of a clear, clear out um, any bakery stuff that I've been warming. And I warm this downstairs and it, it is strong and there is a little bit of a sharpness to it, almost like a eucalyptus, and then you have the peppermint as well. And then you do have that salt. There is some saltiness, which to me is different from salty Sierra. You know, it's not the same, It's but it is salty. Um, anyway, warm this in open space. You got the icy peppermint. It was very, <laughs> it was very nasal opening, nasal passage opening. But as it warmed down the next day, so I had this going probably from five in the evening to the next morning, um, probably until even like 10 or 11 in the morning. And it almost got softer and a little sweeter the next day. So great performer. It smells like snow. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> okay. This one is Christmas mint. This is Santa's tree farm, rosemary, mint, and cashmere. Christmas mint. Also warm this down in open space and up here in the bedroom. Um, yeah, it's just minty. It's more, it's not like an icy peppermint. It's more a mint, like a, like a sweet mint or it says rosemary mint. So it is more like an herbal, in, uh, an herbal mint. And um, I don't really remember getting tree, too much tree. Mostly I got the mint. Yeah, it's in a little bit of rosemary. So it is a different one, but it's kind of nice. Um, would I get this again? I might, I might get this again because I enjoyed it. It's just not really sticking out in my mind so much as the, uh, the smells like snow. Okay, then I have Christmas memories and this is evergreen pine cones, cinnamon, uh, cranberry and orange peel. So Christmas memories. And I think I only had like, half of a little gingerbread man or something like that in this. 
I or oh, um I warm this upstairs here. I did get some of the orange peel, but this one is a little lighter. Again, these are like a year old, but it still performed in my bedroom in my Scentsy warmers. But what I got mostly was some of that um, evergreen and some cinnamon and some. Um, what am I trying to say? And some. What is it? The orange peel. Um, there was some zest, a little bit of zest of orange, um, but perfect amount for my bedroom. And would I get this one again? Um, I don't know. I mean, I really didn't get as much pine cones as I like. I really like good pine cone. But again, these are a year old, so I don't know if they've changed a little bit. Um, but it was a good one. And I do really enjoy the pharmacist daughter. It's She's just a vendor that, I don't know. I just, I don't know. You know, there's so many vendors that I want to try. And then I kind of got hooked on certain ones. But her wax does perform very well in my Scentsy Warmer. So I should probably look into that again. Um, and she's got really good coffee that I do know. Okay. Rose girls, we've got three, three. So this is Mario's home for the holidays. I love this one very much. This, um, is Christmas wish. Oh, Christmas tree, toasted marshmallow, Royal sugar cookie and vanilla bean Noel. Um, and I actually have a sample of it too. So I, I finished both of them. They're both the same scent. Uh, I warm this everywhere. I put this everywhere, uh, partly because I did want to finish this bag and it's from July. Uh, if you'll notice, and if you did see my most recent uh, Rose Girls Mario's pre-order, I did not get another one of these because again, I have just a lot of Christmas tree scents. Next year, I'll pick another one up because I really do like the scent. It's good. It's a good scent. It performed pretty well for me. Um, what I pick up mostly is the marshmallow, the vanilla bean Noel, and I do get some Christmas tree, but it's not like a sharp, it's not like pine needles to me. It's just like, it's like trees and bakery, which performs, which not performs, which I like a lot. So it's like a trees with a lot of bakery with the cookies and it performed really well. And I had this everywhere and I really do like that scent. So that is Mario's home for the holidays. I'm trying not to be so long winded. Okay, winter candy apple. So this is from March 23 and this is also Rose Girls. It was a sample that I was given. I really love the scent from Bath and Body Works. I never, I never bought the fragrance mist or anything in this one. Interestingly, uh, I've had the candle before. I've had like the hand sanitizer before, um, but it's such a great scent. And last year, my friend who makes wax had given us some wax that was like a dupe of this. And so I remember, or maybe she just cut up the candle. I don't remember, but I had winter candy apple last year too. Um, anyway, this is a perfect dupe from what I remember. And I love it. It's so good. And I don't like apple very much, but this is an apple. This is a candied apple. It's it's totally an artificial candied apple, um, but it's so good. And I warmed it in the bedroom, all Scentsy warmers. I think I put two cubes in each warmer and it lasted, it lasted over a day, uh, like a day and a half, which surprised me because um, vendor wax, sometimes you can't get that. And maybe because I did put two two cubes in each warmer, uh, or maybe maybe I had like five going in here, but no, I had, I put two cubes in each warmer. Some of the cubes were a little smaller because I'm looking at my little small, smaller warmer and I had two in there. Anyway, loved it. Fantastic. Would buy this again because I just love the scent. Um, that is Winter Candy Apple from Rose Girls, and that is the Bath & Body Works type. Okay. Let's just pick what I have next here. So this is from Knowles Farm Scents. This is House of Gingerbread and Palo Santo. This is sugar, vanilla, molasses, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, butter, ginger, and Palo Santo. And this was uh, poured this year in October. And that is the House of Gingerbread and Palo Santo. Uh, this is like a mini loaf here. So I actually warmed it what I did because his wax is harder. Um, just put it in the microwave for 20 seconds and then it, then it just like cut like butter. I mean, look at that. It's like a smooth cut. Um, so I, I cut my little mini, mini loaf of this and oh, man, I love this. I warm this on Friday night 
and because I was kind of over melting scentsy uh, everywhere. And I'm like, I want I want some Christmassy, wintry blends. I want something cozy and smoky with Paulo and Stephanie from Steph Love loves life had posted on his Facebook page that she was warming this. And I'm like, I have that scent and it's in my basket. I'm going to, I'm going to be twinning with you because that sounds perfect. And so I went and grabbed it. So long story short, his gingerbread, I mean, I read off all those scents. It's just, it's so good. It's not like, it's not like a strong gingery gingerbread. It's just a really fantastic gingerbread. And then what is very strong in here is the Palo and it's smoky and it was beautiful. It's just, it lingered like the smokiness on this one lingered. Um, and it's kind of sexy. If that sounds <laughs> interesting, it's, it's not a bakery Palo. It's a smoky Palo. If you like those smoky scents, which I do, it was just cozy to me. Very cozy very perfect, great with the gingerbread. So, um, and when I, when I look at these, like I looked at molasses and I'm thinking, Ooh, is that going to bother me? And it's not, it was just really a lot of gingerbread, but a lot of smokiness, which was perfect. I mean, it was just perfect for what I wanted that evening. Uh, it was a cold day. And so I really love this. I have, you know, I've, I've still have quite a bit left. Um, oh, and the other thing, this one lasted, I left, it was, this lasted, <laughs> this lasted over, I would say it was close to eight hours or more, which is fantastic. And it was more the, the smokiness that was there. Um, but this was one that lasted and I do find that his Apollo lasts pretty well. Um, so yeah, so I woke up the next morning and cause I didn't go to bed. I put this on when I it was like 5 PM. And I didn't go to bed till almost two in the morning. So I was enjoying it for quite a bit as I was like, you know, editing videos and stuff. And, uh, and then I woke up the next morning and it was still lingering there. So that was really nice. Perfect. Uh, after all day of trying to warm Scentsy. Okay. This next two is Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Seasons Change to Be Jolly. This was a sample that I had in my sample jar. I'm going to show you that in that other video in the next video I'll record about what I want to do in the future. Um, but this one was okay. I don't know what the notes are in here. Uh, it's, it's pretty, it's not that I didn't like it. I warmed it in the bedroom. There's orange in here. I think maybe some cranberry. I liked it. Okay. I liked it. Okay. It, uh, this little sample filled the, the room and I had it for about half a day, uh, if I remember correctly. Okay. This next one from Sassy Girl Aroma. This I got in August. It is my wish for Christmas and I need my glasses again. This is freshly baked sugar cookies surrounded by pine and pine cones and scented in a fireplace. My wish for Christmas. This is fantastic. I love this so much. This smelled so good to me. And, you know, I definitely get the sugar cookies. And this, this I had in open space and it filled the open space with, you can tell, I think it was a full, it was a full brittle. So I used one row and a half. So what is that? Six. So I used six cubes and filled my open space and just using Scentsy and hot plates. So I do kind of mix both. The sugar cookie in here is so sweet, but I get something with lemon. There's something with lemon, like a lemon bakery in here. And it doesn't say that in the notes at all, but I get some lemon in here along with the pine cones and the sugar cookie. It's almost like a lemon cookie, if that. Yeah, it's like a lemon cookie, but you get a little fireplace, you get some of that bakery, you get the pine cones. This was so nice. I really, really enjoy this. And this would be one that I would put on my rebuy list for next year or whenever I use this down um, because this was really, really pretty. So that is my wish for Christmas from Sassy Girl Aroma. Okay, let's do 
second and spruce. So this one, the bag looks really gross. <laughs> I know Erica doesn't like smudged bags. And the reason it looks this bad is because this was part of the round robin and you know it just got smushed while it was traveling back and forth across the country. So the bag was just smushed to begin with. Um, but I had half, there was like half of a mini loaf in there and I just chopped it up. I don't know if you could see that, that looks better than the bag. Um, and this is gingerbread cookies, creamy eggnog, buttered rum eggnog, and iced sugar cookies. Tipsy gingerbread man. I did not go in on her RTS this past weekend. I'm trying to be so good and it was so hard. It was so hard because I love her wax. Her wax performs... I don't feel like it needs any cure time. It's really soft. It throws her, I don't know how much oil she's got in your bit. Her wax Ooh. throws. It's just a great performing wax for me. Um, and her scents are great. So long story short, it's really hard to skip. Really, really hard to skip. But I actually wrote on the Facebook group page, like, oh, I'm so tempted, especially when I saw the list. And then she was offering a few things that I've been wanting to try. So they weren't, uh, they were apart from a, an earlier pre-order, like, uh, is it called Gazoom? Gazoom? Something like that. And there's like the brown paper bag lunch or something, you know, th those scents that I haven't tried yet. Anyway, Erica's so great. She wrote on, she wrote on my comment. She's like, Martha, go ahead and skip it or something to that extent. I'm going to repour everything next year. And I was like, oh, that's like all I needed to hear. Like, you know what? It, you're right. I can get, I can get the stuff next year. I already have a lot. I haven't even warmed through a lot of it. Um, so thank you, Erica, for kind of making me feel <laughs> better about my no buy. So, so far in December, minus the Scentsy, I've been, I've not bought a thing as far as vendor wax is concerned. So it's, that ma made me feel good. But back to Tipsy Gingerbread, I warm this in open space downstairs everywhere. This, I love eggnog. I love eggnog. And she's got like eggnog twice in here. It was fabulous. It performed great. I'm glad that I have another one, another, I think it's another, no, it's in shapes, but I do have an, the scent again, but it's just in shapes from her holiday sampler. Cause this is fantastic. I love eggnog and it was everything. It was everything, performed fantastic, smelled it everywhere, it was wafting everywhere. So that is Tipsy Gingerbread. It's so good. It's it's so good. Highly, highly recommend. This is from Harper James Wax. This is Silent Night. It is Cracklin Birch, Palo Santo, Mulberry, Pomegranate, and Raspberry. I did get this last year, so I never put dates. I never put a date on it. And she, I think since, I think her new stuff, her new labels do have dates, but this is from last year, probably around November timeframe. So I should probably date this one. Um, I've talked about this one a lot. I warmed it in the bedroom in my Scentsy warmers. And like I said, this is from last year, November, maybe December timeframe. This performed fantastic in my bedroom. Um, this is one that I did not like in the beginning, thought it had a very weird scent is the best way I can put it, kind of an odd scent. And I thought it might have been the mulberry. Um, maybe it's mixed with the Cracklin birch. Since then, it's changed. So again, sometimes you just let things cure and sit and magic happens a few months down the road. And that's how I feel about this. Definitely whatever was sharp and funky got toned down over time. And what I'm left with is a really pretty crackling birch, uh, some mulberry, some pomegranate. I don't get raspberries much, but I warmed it in the bedroom and it was just really nice. And it, it almost too strong. Um, I think I put five. I think I had five of these little cubes in here. And it was almost too strong. I almost thought, am I going to be able to sleep or is this going to be too much? But it was fine. And I woke up the next morning and it just got even more and more beautiful. And it's actually the longer it warmed, the prettier and prettier it got. So I, I've, I've grown to almost be very uh, protective of this scent because it was just so off when I first got it. But now I love it. And uh, it's just morphed 
and comes alive on warm. And so I like this one a lot and I just think it's so pretty, um, you know, the longer it warms and it lasted quite a long time and performed really well for me. So that is Silent Night from Harper James. All right, last but not least, we have Spiced Cardamom. So Spiced Cardamom is a Bath and Body Works. I think it's technically the white, was it white? White Barn, is that right? But it's Bath Body Works, right? I don't know if, uh, I forget how the affiliation between the two works, but anyway, this is cardamom, cinnamon spice, and dark cedarwood. I've not been great and consistent with burning my candles, but uh, I try. <laughs> so this one, I had burned it for uh, most of it, probably till about here. And then it started getting a little smoky and a little soot. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can really tell, maybe you can. Do you see that? a little dark and that changes the scent after a while. So I just decided to kind of pour out some of the, the yucky stuff and then stick it under the candle lamp and probably had it on and off for about a week, maybe a little more. And this was great. It also kind of blended well with some other scents that I was, when I was doing something smoky. Um, it's a really pretty scent. I, when I first got this, I thought that it was going to be a little too, too spicy, but it's, it's actually not. And it performed fantastic under the candle lamp. It would fill the room. And sometimes I would just warm this with nothing else. Um, and it filled the room. So there really isn't much scent left. Um, yeah, that's a good one. I would rebuy that again if, and when I'm ever shopping for candles, which right now I'm really all about melting wax. So that is that for this week. Thank you so much. Somehow I managed to make this video longer than it needed to be. Um, so thank you for sticking around. And if you enjoyed this video, consider giving me a like or subscribing to my channel. For those of you that are like, where's the Scentsy? Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, I will have a separate bring back my bar warm review sometime this week. Um, as I finish, as I wrap up warming those. So only two more weeks left, I think, right? Yeah. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> only two more weeks left. This, this year and this month is just flying by. So, uh, I got, I still have a lot of warming to do that. I really want to do, uh, and looking forward to what I warm this week. Let's see. Let's see what next video is going to look like. All right. Thank you so much. Happy melting. Bye-bye.